For months, the CBS News Chicago investigators have been tracking car break-ins across Chicago and the most alarming items that are being stolen, guns. Just this week, Chicago police said the South Loop is a current hotspot with more than a dozen guns recently stolen from cars. Investigator Megan Hickey is digging into a possible solution. Red experts tell me one of the reasons why it's hard to curb the problem of guns being stolen out of cars is because a lot of the time police don't know they've been stolen in the first place, even though gun owners are supposed to report it. Now some lawmakers are trying to fix that. It's an issue the CBS News Chicago investigators first uncovered last month. And they busted out at least 10 car windows. They broke the two front windows. This is crazy. I really don't know what they're looking for. Thanks to data collected and analyzed by the CBS News data team, we discovered that the majority of guns stolen in Chicago last year were stolen out of cars. Car break-ins being the source of a whopping 40% of gun thefts last year. CPD warns the problem has recently gotten bad in the South Loop. During the course of 15 different car break-ins there since the end of July, unsecured guns were stolen in 14 of them. We did some digging and found that just last year, the near south side saw 20 stolen guns from cars. But the worst spots were Austin with 52 guns stolen from cars last year and the West Loop with 36 guns stolen from cars in 2023. It's easy for criminals to be able to quickly access a firearm if they break into a vehicle and they're able to take that gun. State um, Representative what, Kevin um, Olicol, who represents Skokie, Lincolnwood, and parts of Chicago's northwest side, tells me that's exactly why he's sponsoring this bill that would tighten the requirements for gun holders to report when their gun is lost or stolen from 72 hours to 48 hours and create an electronic portal to track which gun owners have failed to report it. He says part of the issue is gun owners don't know that they have to. It's all about timing. Um, you know, we want to make sure that law enforcement can begin tracking that firearm sooner. Um, they can increase the chance of recovery uh, before it's being used in a crime. So that shorter window just gives authority or give authorities a head start. The state rep is also working with lawmakers who are working to strengthen gun storage laws in Illinois. They're calling it the safe at home campaign. In the newsroom, Megan Hickey, CBS News Chicago investigators.